what's up soul fairies and welcome to my channel this is cello the fashion fairy if you're stopping by for the first time you're welcome if you're a returning subscriber you are welcome back so this is a three-part series where i teach you how to make this pattern from scratch i'm whole princess that and i teach you how to make it with a yoke with a zip in front and with the regular zip in the back so if this is something you want to learn definitely keep watching see you in my tutorial hi soul fairies and welcome to class in today's tutorial you'll be learning a lot so stick with me until the end of this video and please do not skip any ad thank you okay so here i'm creating my top line which is about an inch and then i'm using the hip measurement that's the biggest circumference that i have and i'm using it um i dividing it by two and then i added about half inch of ease so the fullest measurement i'm working with is the hip measurement and this is me dividing that by two and then i added um half inch for ease and that's the line right there so i expect you to use if your bust measurement is more than your hip this is the measurement i expect you to use so i'm dividing this pattern further into two and into two i have about 13 inches i think 12 and three quarter inches i beg your pardon and that's what i'm marking all through this pattern all the way down remember that this is a full scale bodice so we'll be including the hip measurement as well if it were our half scale we wouldn't be needing the hip measurement we'll just be using the bust so please take note so this is me dividing this into two equal halves and one will be my front and of course the other one will be my back so let me label it accordingly this will be my front and this would be my back so let, let's forge ahead the um, shoulder measurement i'm working with is eight inches so i went ahead to add half inch to make it eight and a half and then the neckline i'm working with is three inches standard so in the front i marked one and a half inches for the shoulder slope and for the back i marked half um, one inch for the shoulder slope so i'm just going to connect it straight to the neckline like so you do remember how to um, construct your basic bodice so this is just the same the only thing is that this is full scale so this is my shoulder to my bust point the bust point i'm working with is 11 inches so i'm marking just note where i placed my tape and i'll be marking 11 inches then i'll also be marking um from the shoulder to the bust under bust waist and shoulder to length don't worry guys i'll be labeling accordingly so that you don't get confused so please just use the measurements as um as you've measured maybe your client or yourself whatever the case may be so like i said you measure all these vertical measurements and you mark them down and you rule a line across accordingly mm. Don't mind me, I'm answering call while I'm making a video. <laughs> all right, so these are the lines that I've measured, vertical lines running all the way from my top line to the various points as I already measured earlier. So do well to use yours. So for the back, we all know that the back bodice is usually shorter so for the back measurement do well to measure from the shoulder to the back waist so this is my bust under bust waistline and hip line or you can call it the blouse length so my my back bodice is three inches shorter than the front because of my back waistline naturally your back is shorter than your front because of your bust so for this client of mine has is three inches sh three, three inches shorter i beg your pardon i don't want to bite my tongue so this is the chest line the chest line is usually two inches above your shoulder to bust point is usually two inches but do well to measure your client and know what has is so i'm measuring the same shoulder measurement that i had earlier just to make sure i have a straight line like so so i'm just going to rule that down for both the front and the back 
so for the dark point i'm going to use the nipple to nipple also known as bust point to bust point measurement and for my client it's nine and i divided it by two and i had two um four and a half inches which i marked across board from the bust point all the way to the hip so for her dart i used about um one, um, one and a half inches i marked one inch from the bust point and i marked one and a half from the hip line just to make sure that the dart doesn't run into both points and this is what we have so far and if you are not sure of how to make a basic body pattern please check my other videos and you will be sure to be carried along so at this point i marked my waist measurement divided by four plus the dart allowance and at this point i marked my bust measurement and i added half inch of ease bust divided by four marked and then half inch of ease the same with my hip line uh, remember we used our hip line to divide this so you just go you're just going to run a line from the bust to the hip so for this neckline i decided to increase it to three and a half by four inches please do well to use whatever um, neckline that suits you and just know that we are still going to manipulate this and change whatever we need to change for this so i'm just trying to look at the style in question to make sure everything is all good and i am going to show you guys what i'm talking about so for this style is a blouse style and this one has a yoke so if you're doing something like this you will do well to make sure you measure your client where you want it to stop the v to stop i'll be showing you how to do that much later in the video so i'll go ahead and mark my back waist measurement from my shoulder to my back waist and that's the mark right here and then i'm going to add one inch to the length of the back i'll tell you why when it's time but i decided to add one inch to the back so that i would make it a bit longer so this is the shoulder to um back waist measurement and i went ahead that's my mom sorry my phone was ringing so i decided to uh, mark that okay so for the back tightening i usually use one inch for my back tightening but i'll also show you what to do if you don't want to use a whole one inch especially if your measurements now go off the pattern i'll show you how to manipulate this but for now let's just leave it be so for the dart i'm going to measure four i measured four inches from that point and i ruled the line all the way down and do you remember that your dart is not supposed to touch your hip line so i marked half inch on both sides and measured about one and a half inches upwards from the hip and i connected my dart leg and marked the other way um the other one all the way to the top of the back so um this is what we have so far and i measured the waist and i saw that it went off the back pattern so um for the bust i marked the same thing i had on your front bodies and i connected it so this was how it looked it looked weird so i decided to do something else. so let me show you a trick so essentially if it looks like this you can either reduce your tightening for the back or you reduce your dart weight so i connected it right back to how it's supposed to be and then i chose to reduce my dart um instead of reducing the back tightening so what i did was i marked quarter inch on both sides because i because i had like um about half inch um that took it out of of the back body so i just reduced my uh that measurement for the back to actually fit me better so if you should measure this with a tape right now it will give you the accurate back waist measurement so um this is a trick that you can use whenever your pattern looks weird you can decide to redo and reduce your dart so that's what i chose to do so now that i've reduced my dart this is what my dart now looks like so for this if you decide to use your your back you to um reduce your back tightening you can do that too so for the front we'll be doing uh my under bust tightening at, at this point so um you're going to divide your bust measurement uh, under bust measurement into four and whatever you have you're going to mark more on the side of the bust and then the rest 
on the middle part of the pattern so i had an excess of about two and a half inches i marked about two inches on one side and i marked half inch on the other side and that's what it looks like so for the um that i'm hold that i'm going to be dividing what i have into two marking the same on both sides just to create my armhole curve so about um half inch inside for the front and quarter to the back and then i'll be using my curved ruler to connect it and give it a smooth curve if you don't have this you can totally do this with your free hand but just take your time to make sure you get it well so i'm just going to use that as a guide to connect it to my bust and see how it's running smoothly so um I decided to um, add back the half inch that I took. You know, I took one and a half inches of that from the front um, shoulder. I decided to add back that half inch. So, um, essentially, to create the dart for your armhole, whatever you use as your under bust tightening, you remove half inch from it and then you create your dart and it should look something like this. So, as if you are doing something like this, a V neck, you will have to, with a yoke, you will have to follow this as well. So, this is the second part of the tutorial where you can add your yoke if you so desire. So, if you're adding your yoke, in order to determine where the you could be sitting you'll be measuring your bust to under bust measurement and be marking same on top then probably adding one or one and a half inches if you want to conceal your bust area so this is what i want remember it's not static you do is what you like so this is me adding yoke so if you're adding yoke this is what it looks like and you will be, will be cutting off all these shaded parts as our darts so um back to what i told you earlier about why i added one inch i added one inch as well to the front and i connected it all the way to this side why did i add the one inch because after we must have taken our that arm hold that it makes the blouse shorter so i decided to add one inch to both the front and the back and i marked about two inches all the way up to the side to connect it and give it that beautiful curve so if you're doing a v-neck do well to mark where you want the v to stop this is totally up to you um if you want to be showing your bust area or whatever just do use the necessary things to uh measurements to mark it so this is what i have i decided to make this about four and a half inches wide i marked the same for the back and i will be um redoing my neckline to match the v so i wanted a v in the front and also a v behind this is totally up to you like i said earlier so for the back i measured exactly where i had the arm, uh, arm hole that and i measured same on the back and i'm just connecting it with a slight curve to meet that of the back and i'll be shifting the dart for the back just a bit to match it like so so remember that darts are not static you can also always move your darts however you wish just make sure you're taking out the right thing so the same thing i did for the back i'm doing for the sorry for the front i'm doing for the back and i'm just connected connecting it all the way to uh to give it that beautiful curve so i um, went ahead to extend the dart to touch it as well so this is the armhole for the back and we are almost done with this pattern so if you want to add a zipper to the front make sure you cut your center front on or not unfold so that you can add your zipper allowance so in order to know if you're losing any fabric if you're going to be losing any fabric when you're joining this do well to measure your darts measure the the middle part first and measure the side part first like i said if you are making this with a zipper in front please do not cut the center part unfold leave it open and add your zipper allowance to the front and for the back cut it open and stitch it back and do not add any allowance so after measuring it i saw that i was losing fabric i measured what was lost and i connected it back to my armhole so creating the yoke for the back as well i just did the same measurement i had in front and voila i have I also have the yoke for the back as well but this is optional you can decide to do your back normal and just the yoke in front so um 
guys this is what we have um and with this pattern you will not experience any any armhole gaping whatsoever your fabric will not your the length will not be short because we already added some and all that so this is the dart that we are bust that we're creating for this remember the front and the back bodies they are not the same length and for this whatever the um difference is formed our dart if you don't understand it please go back to our tutorials to make sure you acquaint yourselves with our process so um in order to close my back uh, my uh, bust that i beg your pardon i'll be opening this point all the way to my bust area and then quickly close my bust that and whatever thing uh of course i'll be losing some um maybe i think about half inch by that size so i reconnected it to make sure that when i cut it i won't have any shortage of fabric so having done this um i'm cutting off the pattern so that i can work with it so if you're not using your um yoke um please do well to use this pattern as it appears but if you are like i said please make it so obvious that you can do so you can take your yoke i'm just showing you, you can take your yoke as low as you want and you can also change the neckline as low as you want everything depends on you you are the designer so i'm just going to set that aside and go back to my back and then cut off like so remember i said if you are even using a zipper for the front please cut the back in pieces like so cut out that back tightening and then join it back it gives a perfect look behind so that there's no gaping there's no excess so you still have to cut it like this if you're adding a zipper in front okay so this is what we have and i left the next so that whatever you want you can do so this is me trying to cut off the yoke so i'm just trying to make sure my because my client warned me she didn't want to show any cleavage so this is me making sure that no cleavage is going to be to be seen so this is me cutting off everything including the yoke and i'm going to set this aside and i'm going to test out this pattern to make sure that everything aligns so having done this i'm going to set everything together to make sure that i'm not losing or I, i'm not having excess so um that point right there i just cut it out so that it will be smooth so this is what i have and i run it i ran it across this and i saw that i was losing something and then i added it and this is it so if you are if you do this and you notice that you're losing um some inches right there please do well to make sure everything fits so please label accordingly and mark where you want you to put your notches and your uh, allowances and make sure you label accordingly so i don't know what happened to my camera at this point i wasn't even using any lighting but i found out it was so bright so at this point what i did was just to cut out the back um neckline as well and make sure that it was the same with the front so um i aligned everything and i decided to label as i did for the front as well and cut out the yoke for the back as well so this is the back pattern right there and the front beside it so thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and see you in my next video